guys, we've had seven days of a week for a really, really, really long time. But I mean, if you go back to like ancient Rome, um, originally it was um, eight days, right? And because it was basically popular in the Mediterranean, they ended up going into seven days, like much later in the uh, the late stages of the Roman Empire, pretty much po- due to popularity, along with um, you know their obvious planetary deities and things like that, guys. But I do think that the origin point of this probably all was um, based on a celestial basis. Okay, so um, the early civilizations would have looked up into the skies and been like, "Okay, hold on, these are all fixed stars." So what are these things, <laughs> right? Looking up into the sky. And I'm pretty sure they figured it out like, okay, there are celestial bodies moving independently of their fixed stars. And what are they, guys? Right? Um, the sun, the moon, Mars, right? Mercury, Jupiter, uh, Venus, and Saturn, guys. Right? Um, how many, is, what does that equal? Seven. And they were just like, you know what? I like the number seven. We have seven of these things moving in the sky. So let's just say seven for each day. Let's go ahead and name each day pretty much based off of something related to that. Um, that's why we have seven days, guys, basically. Um, it has everything to do with um, early civilizations and um, the stars and sky. So the fact that this pops up on Star Talk is interesting because I'm pretty sure um, that's probably what we're about to encounter here, guys. And of course, I didn't uh, watch any of this. So let's go ahead and check this out uh, together, guys, right? Uh, let's see their reasoning. So, Chuck. Yes. We haven't talked about planets in a long time. This is true. All right? I, I think we're overdue throwing a little extra planet pop culture. Okay. Planet pop culture. It's Neil deGrasse Tyson. Can you recite the planets in order? In order, yeah. in order. Like coming from Mercury, okay, right, and then Venus, Earth, right, and then uh, Mars going out after that. That's the big one. Uh, mm-hmm. That's Jupiter, mm-hmm. and then you got Neptune behind Jupiter. No, you got. Sat- oh, I'm sorry. How you gonna Sa- leave out Saturn? Saturn. God, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and then you know Uranus, right? Neptune. Uh, Uranus, Neptune. Sorry, mm-hmm. and then no, no, and. Yeah. We're done. It. Neptune. Uranus, Neptune, and then... We're done. The planet count over the years has fluctuated. Yes. Yeah. To the mm-hmm. ancients, there were seven planets. I will recite them for you. Okay. Mercury. Okay. Venus. Yep. Venus. yep. Mars. Yep. Jupiter. Jupiter. Saturn. Yep. Saturn. Saturn. Mm-hmm. The sun. Mm-hmm. What? And the moon. All yep. right. Now, That's it. I can see the moon being considered That's it. a planet... Because yeah, like Uranus and um, like Pluto and things like that. These or Planet X. Apologies, guys. Right? Um, yeah, these things uh, were not. Uh, they didn't exist in their heads. As you know, it's like no, common because the and definition going. of planet has changed. I can, what if in I'm, the day, yeah. planet was anything that moved mm-hmm. against the background sky. Okay, so all the other stars are staying kind of where they are. Correct. And the, then what you they have call these the fixed little stars. fixed stars. They yeah, have these fixed little stars. bodies that just kind didn't of have, wander, size didn't matter. wander along. Size didn't matter. Celestial okay. bodies. Didn't matter. Did, didn't matter. did you move? Did you move? Against the background <laughs> star? So any satellite. The Greek word for wanderer, okay. because these are things that move. wandered among the background right. stars, right. is planetes. Planetes. Yes. That's very romantic. Yes. Planetes. That's where we is get it? the word planet from. Is it romantic? The fact that they use the word wander is evidence they had no clue what was going on. Right. (laughs) Right. Yeah. Okay. So, seven planets. It is not an accident that there's seven days a week. Okay. Each day of the week is named for one of those seven planets. Sunday. (laughs) That's exactly. Sunday. (laughs) Sunday. Sunday. (laughs) Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Is named after Saturday. Sure. Sunday. The sun. The sun. Okay. How about Saturday? Well, that's a hard one. <laughs> Say Jupiter. <laughs> no, Sabado is different. Say Jupiter. You do that's that's Spanish. Yes. Yeah, okay. Sabado is Sabbath. Oh, okay. so it has nothing to do with the planet. No, Sabbath. I'm talking about English, dude. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. okay. So Saturday. Yeah, so Sunday. It's got to be Saturn. 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 Sunday's the sun. Say Jupiter. Okay. How about Moon Day? 
<laughs> All right. Moon day. Yeah, guess what? Moon day was oh, named after. But now that works in Spanish because it's lunes. Lunes. I yeah. know what you do with Tuesday. <laughs> Now, where are you gonna get a planet? <laughs> now, now, okay, now, now you got to do something impressive because you got to you got to come up with a planet for Tuesday. I will. Okay, mm-hmm. planet Mars. Okay. <laughs> no, why are you trolling? Me? Okay, all right, all right, all right. Just, okay, okay. So let's go back to the Romance languages. Okay. What do they call Tuesday? In the Romance language? Yeah. The lunes, martes. Martes. I know it in Spanish. Martes. Right. Martes. It's Mars. Right. Mars. Okay. Okay. All right. There okay. You go. That's cool. So. Tuesday, well, Tuesday doesn't sound like Mars, but there is a Norse god called Tues. Tues. Tues, yes. And this is a god of war. Okay. It's kind of a wimpy name for the god of war. (laughs) I mean, (laughs) hearing it in English it is, but it's not really. Tues. (laughs) Tues will come kick your ass. Tues will come for you, okay? (laughs) That's not funny. (laughs) Tues. So we now have Norse mythology Joining in, intertwining, on this right? Naming scheme, right? Okay, right. but they have corresponding planets, is all I'm saying. Gotcha. So what's next? That's Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Okay. Wednesday. So what's Wednesday in Spanish? Mercoles. Mercoles, right? Which would be Mercury, right? So Mercury is. Oh, where did he go? Mercury is the god of what? Um, what did he? What's he good at? He was a postman. He's moving fast. That's right. He's moving fast, and. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, so, and when you're that close, you move fast so you don't right, fall in. Exactly. So Mercury is the fastest moving planet, and the Romans knew this, the Greeks knew this. Right. So Mercules, Mercury, but it, for us it's Wednesday. Wednesday. So Wednesday, right? Woden. Woden. Woden's day. Nice. Woden's yeah, day. yeah. And so he's the closest Norse god as a counterpart to Mercury. Okay. Okay. So Mercury was a messenger, messenger god. Woden had some other features about him. Yeah. But it included uh, serving as a as a traveler back and forth to hell, whatever they called hell. Thursday. We all know who that's named after. Go ahead. I don't know Thursday. What Thursday? Thor. Like I know Thursday. <laughs> okay, that makes, that starts to make, and that's that actually starts to make sense now, at least a little bit. Let's see. I knew all of them were obviously named after each one of the planets, guys. But um, I would say Thursday was the one that I always was kind of like, huh. But no, okay, Thor's day. Thor. Thor. Jesus Thor's, Christ. Thor's that was the Thor's easiest day. one. Thor. Thor wields what? The hammer. Well, the hammer and <laughs> lightning. Lightning. Right. Okay. Who in Greek mythology wields lightning? What? Well, Greek and Roman. Okay. Jupiter. Jupiter. Wow. So what is what do we have in 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 the Romance languages? What do we call Thursday? Oh wait, I don't. So, I don't, so, I don't so, know. Lunis, Martes, Miracles, Hueves. Okay, so it begins oh. with J. It's Jupiter. Right. In French, uh, Judy. J- oh. <laughs> Judy. <laughs> oh, you put the hand <laughs> in the, 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 the Judy. Judy. <laughs> no. So there you get Jupiter, right? The corresponding god to Thor. Okay, that okay. makes sense. All right. And a lot of sense. Friday. Friday. And that, that's the last day. Uh, mean, this we, Friday, last day out of Saturn. the seven. Saturn was Saturday. Okay. So Friday, uh, what's that in Romance languages? Uh, so it, well, again, In Spanish, I know it's Viernes. Viernes, okay. Right. Uh, and, and Venus. Venus. Named for Venus, there the goddess go. of love. love and beauty and all that. Mm. But we've once again drawn from the Norse traditions there. Mm. So that, it's Frigga. Frigga. Frigga is the goddess of uh, beauty. I didn't know in that. In Norse legend. In yeah. Norse legend. Sounds like a t- member of Wu-Tang. <laughs> but I was no. Frigga. <laughs> Bro, copyright. Don't do that. It's, yeah, Frigga, Jigga, and Jizza. <laughs> right. right. Jizza. So uh, Frigga has less sort of poetry for that than I yeah. think Venus. Yes, Venus, you know? yes. Venus and beauty go together. Right. Right, right. Yeah, absolutely. Nobody wrote a song about Frigga. Frigga. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wrote a song about Frigga. <laughs> so we have this amalgam uh Don't just say words that. Don't just that say that. Track those seven days of the week. Okay. And we borrowed from Norse. We have Latin. And some of that Latin we would see in the... There are actually a couple of songs about Frigga. Okay. But that's not the point. In the Romance languages. Right. And so... But they all track back to the seven, seven planets. The seven planets. Correct. Right. Seven planets. Right. And so here's what goes on. We have the seven planets, and Copernicus comes along. Yes. Mid-1500s. Mid-1500s. And he says, you people are dumbasses. (laughs) (laughs) That's not what... The sun is not a planet. (laughs) 
we lose the sun and the moon right. in the planet count that takes it down to five, but we gain what? Wait, I'm, 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 you're losing me. I'm, Before Copernicus, we had seven planets. Right. Yes. All of them moved against the background stars. You After Copernicus, down to five. we have five. We, we have five because we lost the we sun lost and the moon. The sun and the moon. Okay. Right. But we gain one. Oh, us. Ah! Yes. Exactly. We. <laughs> Bro, are, are you even here? Well, of course. That makes sense. <laughs> we, we gain one. But only to find that we were the wanderer all along. <laughs> <laughs> so we went from seven to five, back up to six. Right. And there it would remain until William Herschel discovers planet George. Planet George. Yeah. Right. Named it after King George. King George. The George of the American Revolution, George. Oh, okay. That they were contemporaries. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and, and the rest of the world was gonna have none of that. I'm sure. Yeah, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, George. Saturn, and George. Yeah, we ain't right. doing, we ain't playing, we don't play that. <laughs> oh so. my God, I wish we had kept that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Planet, no. George. Planet George. No. That's a whole other conversation, other naming schemes, but yeah. I just wanted to catch you up on the days of the week. There you go. That was awesome. Oh, days of the week explainer. There you go. All right. All right. Seven. Guys, I'm definitely glad for, for more. Um, for more information, I like these type of videos. Generally, they have the ability to kind of open your mind for a second, right? Um, it, it, it's a slight release from the madness that some that you guys constantly are sending me these days, right? Great, great job here, All right? The reason why we have seven days of the week, um, I was hoping that he kind of went more into depth, uh, at least with, um, I don't know, the Rome, like Roman Empire specifically with it, because again, guys, it was eight days um, up until the later end where it turned into seven, but that's not the point. I definitely would love some more information specifically from him, uh, pretty much based off of that overall theory also. But as he said, uh, there are a lot of stories, but the one that he just told, I think is probably the most uh, uh, mainstream of them all, guys. Right? Um, but all right, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day. Thoroughly. Guys, before we go, are you guys subscribed to the other channels? Logical Movie Reviews with Mr. L. Boyd along with Mr. L. Boyd Music. Both are found in the description. Check it out. <laughs>